He also spoke extensively on the future of deployments. We, we continue to make progress improving the ratio between the time the soldiers are deployed and the time the soldiers are at home, even with the, the increase projected for Afghanistan. And, and you say, how, you know, how can you do that? With the drawdown in Iraq, we have 100,000 soldiers there today. By the end of August, we'll be at 50,000. So there's 50,000 soldiers that, that won't have to deploy. Our portion of the deployment into Afghanistan is a little over 20,000. And because of the, the length of time it takes to get the forces into Afghanistan, they'll close about the same time the forces are out of Iraq. Be because of that, we never really have appreciably more forces deployed than we do today. And that allows us to complete this plus up in Afghanistan without going to 15-month deployments and to continue to build the time they, they spend at home. And, and as we look to the future, as demand comes down, I mean, the first thing I want to try to do is to get to nine-month deployments. Because, you know, we know 15-month deployments are way too long. 12 months are too long to sustain for a decade or so. We'd like to get to nine months, and, and we also know six months is too short on the ground. Uh, the next thing we'd like to do is get to one year out three years back. And that's sustainable over the long haul. And then the last thing we'd like to do is to begin reducing our reliance on the Guard and Reserve. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television. For more on this story, log on to Army.mil.